Hey, what's going on guys? This is Broku. Welcome back to another Dragon Ball video. Welcome back to a brand new what if. What if Vegeta used Ultra Instinct in the Tournament of Power? And also, guys, it is what if week. So every day of this week, Monday through Friday, I'll be uploading a what if at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. If you guys like Fortnite, I'll also be live streaming Fortnite on my gaming channel, Broku Gaming at 6.30 p.m. Pacific tonight or one hour after this video is uploaded. That channel will be linked in the description below. But anyways, guys, what if week is a very fun experience and it is a lot of work for me. So one way to guarantee I do another what if week in the future is through your guys amazing support. So let's shoot for 1,500 likes on every single what if this week and with that let's get ahead into this video. So with the tournament of power occurring our main protagonist Son Goku would achieve two new levels of breaking his own limits. First would be Ultra Instinct Omen which he first broke through after his spirit bomb failed and he used it to put up a big fight against Jiren. Goku would use this swarm to also defeat Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, and later a third time in his final fight against Jiren. This would lead into his next form of limit breaking, and that is Mastered Ultra Instinct. With this insane power of the gods, Goku would be able to defeat a full power Jiren, and as the fight went on, he did it pretty easily. Now, what if Vegeta got this power of Ultra Instinct on his own? Now first, before even getting into this video, I try to think of the scenario. Should I change it so that Vegeta challenges Jiren first before Goku, then he gets Ultra Instinct and achieves Ultra Instinct Omen first, or just keep the order of the fights like it was in, in the actual turn of power in Super, but let Vegeta achieve it in his first fight with Jiren? Well, we will do the latter. We will keep the order. So, following the events of Episode 121 and Episode 122, Vegeta would take on Jiren and prove a good fight. After analyzing Jiren's fight, he saw some weaknesses in the way the brute fought. But still, it would be a fruitless endeavor to take on Jiren. With Jiren using a small fraction of his power, he would take out the Saiyan Prince. But not before Vegeta would let out his final attack. Vegeta at first attempted to sacrifice himself to take out Jiren, giving his universe hope at survival. Just like what he did against the goddess action of Topo and the actual show and also against Majin Buu. With the attack failing, Vegeta was thought to have been killed along with his blast. He wasn't anywhere to be seen, and this is when Vegeta made a similar entrance to that of Ultra Instinct Goku. Vegeta was a completely different animal from before. The new power of Ultra Instinct Omen was pushing Vegeta forward. With the new power, Vegeta would be the one to take on Jiren, leading Goku to have to face off against God Destruction Topo. While Vegeta was using his new power to put up a good fight against Jiren, Goku was a blue Kaioken times 20 was struggling to fight God Topo. Now we know that blue Kaioken Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta were close in power, and so was blue Evolution Vegeta to God Topo, but still, God Topo was stronger until Vegeta broke his limits once again. And if Vegeta wasn't enough, then that means Goku would have to get stronger as well. Goku, our rematch is here. We both were holding back last time we fought, but now we can give it our all. Goku and Topo's fight was epic, but of course, Topo would begin to prevail, his god powers proving too much. The Kaioken was wearing on Goku's body, and his limits were nearing their top, but Goku would break them once again. Goku goes Ultra Instinct Omen for the third time, using its awesome power to defeat God Destruction Topo, or God of Destruction Candidate Topo, with ease. Jiren looked over in astonishment, surprised that Topo would be defeated so easily, but then realized his own problem that he was fighting two Saiyans at once, both of them powered by Ultra Instinct. Honestly, I think something similar to this would have been amazing in the turn of power. I really thought we would have seen Blue Evolution Vegeta and Ultra Instinct Omen Goku take on Jiren at the same time, and it was kind of lame for Evolution Vegeta and Blue Kaioken Goku being on a similar level of power, because that made it so that Goku was far stronger than Vegeta. But anyways, Jiren would have his work cut out for him, taking on two Ultra Instinct users at once. Not only would their new power and dodging ability be amassed, but with Goku and Vegeta being able to fight without thinking, they would finally be able to fight together without getting in each other's way. Now this got me thinking when I was writing this up. Could the two of them be able to defeat Jiren together without one of them attaining Mastered Ultra Instinct? So what I'm saying is, could two Ultra Instinct Omen users defeat Jiren who needed a Mastered Ultra Instinct user to defeat him and I had to put a lot of thought to this but I came down to saying no. So Goku using his Ultra Instinct in the show did a Kamehameha against Jiren and it was really nothing to him and Jiren wasn't at his full power 
and Kamehameha's are usually 2.5 times stronger than the user. This means that Goku, as Master Ultra Instinct, got bare minimum several times stronger. And Jiren took a while to use his full power, so somebody would need to go Master Ultra Instinct to defeat Jiren in this battle. So even though there's, despite two amazing fighters working together, both with Ultra Instinct, Jiren at full power would be able to defeat them probably pretty easily. But for purpose of story, Ultra Instinct Vegeta is the first to be knocked out by Jiren, and Vegeta is reverted to his base form, but he's also broken his limits. Goku is overpowered in his regular Ultra Instinct form, but eventually goes mastered Ultra Instinct. It makes sense, he's already used it three times now, so for him to master it, I guess, is a lot more likely for him to master it over Vegeta mastering it. Just like in Super, Goku in his mastered Ultra Instinct form is able to defeat Jiren. But the power of the gods is too hard on that of Immortal. The taxing toll of Ultra Instinct causes Goku to revert to his base form and fail, energy pouring out of his body. A weakened Frieza and a weakened Android 17 step in to try and take on the weakened Jiren. Side note, Android 17 never sacrificed himself in this scenario due to Vegeta getting Ultra Instinct much earlier. He just fought to God Topo longer and got pretty much absolutely destroyed until Goku intervened. He just suffered a lot of damage during the fight, that's why he's weak, not because he survived his own sacrifice. These two fighters would take on Jiren, and despite him being weakened a lot himself, he could still put up a good fight. Quickly, as Frieza goes by Vegeta, he smirks at him, and gives a tiny bit of his power to Vegeta, who had been conscious since Goku attained the Mastered Ultra Instinct. Vegeta looked over and saw Goku incapacitated, and he also saw Frieza and Seventeen struggling towards Jiren. But, just like how the Frieza gave Goku more than enough power to take on Kefla, same with Vegeta. Despite low stamina, he was basically back to full strength. And an even stronger, full strength Vegeta, since he was able to break his limits with Ultra Instinct, just like how once Goku used Ultra Instinct, he got his overall base power stronger. He powered up to Super Saiyan Blue and went even further beyond. With Vegeta's own broken limits and winning in his grasp, the thought of his family and Kaba pushing him further into a Super Saiyan Blue evolution state. Just as it looked that Jiren was going to overcome Seventeen and Frieza, Blue Evolution Vegeta knocked Jiren away with a Ki Blast. Jiren was so weak at this point that even just, likely, a regular Super Saiyan Vegeta could one-shot him, let alone Blue Evolution. With just a few hits, Vegeta knocks Jiren to the ground and grabs him by his torn uniform on his back and drags him towards the edge of the stage. He drops the final Pride Trooper and final fighter of Universe 11 off the stage, and Universe 11 is erased. So this time, Universe 7 still has Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, and 17 left on the stage, so they kind of won by almost a landslide. Now with Vegeta knocking off Jiren, he would likely get the wish, and now, would he make the same wish as 17, or would Vegeta, his wish be solely directed at reviving only Universe 6? Well, his wish would be bringing everyone back. I honestly think that he would. He was a good guy at this point, and if he had the power, I do think he would make that wish. Not only because of his morals, but he also could fight Jiren or Topo again, and he'd probably want to. We all know Vegeta. He would definitely want to fight Topo for calling my second fiddle, and also want to get the point where he can defeat Jiren one-on-one. -on -one. And he would need Jiren to be alive for that to gauge his strength. And also, it's just a natural wish to make. With everyone back, all the Sea Fighters and all the universes get to live in peace for a little bit, gets to go back to Earth and meet with his family, and is especially excited to see his newborn daughter, Bra, whom Vegeta loves with all of his Saiyan pride, but also would have Vegeta being likely far stronger than Goku. So at the end of Super, when Goku and Vegeta did their sort of spar thing, Vegeta should be able to pretty easily defeat Goku. Now they both can't use UI, just like in the show, it doesn't really specify if Vegeta can use blue evolution, but I don't know why he wouldn't be able to, but still, even just blue to blue, Vegeta should win that fight. But anyways guys, let me know what you think of this what if down below. Did you enjoy? Did you not? Let me know. So please do comment, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, join my Discord, and follow me on Twitter. Don't forget, I'm going to be live streaming Fortnite on my gaming channel, 6.30pm Pacific, my channel will be linked in the description. And also, remember, it's What If Week. If you want What If Week to continue, let's shoot for 1,500 likes on this video and every single video for the rest of the week. So I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And thank you so much to all of my Patreon supporters. So my Super Saiyans is Hodag Hunter. And my Super Saiyan 2's, Dariush, 
Israel Flores, Locke, Anime Paradox, and Mystic Ghoul. And also, thanks to my Super Saiyan 3s, Scotland Serenity, Diraj Payton, Sin Overlord, and Griffin Jacob. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It really does mean a lot, and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Peace out.